it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to the Moonlight Garden review and collection. This also includes all of the Lighten Up version, which was Firefly Garden. So, this was requested by Pug Paws. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate the request. Um, please do keep the request coming. Lots of ideas, definitely, but always great to satisfy what you want to see. So, I'm up for that. First thing I will say is this bag, this is the mail bag in Midnight Blues. This is the bag for me that started it all for Vera. So this is where my crazy began. Um, longer story, if you've watched some of my videos, you may have heard it, but the reason I brought this out is because this pattern was the inspiration for the Moonlight Garden. So you can look at the Vera Badley blogs and, and um, on their site and see that. But it makes sense because if you look at this pattern, and pull out another piece uh, here, we'll pull out the sling. But you can see the coloration and the types of flowers. You can see where the, the two patterns are connected. The cool part, and the other reason I brought it out is because, because they are closely related, they're not perfectly matched, but they do matchy matchy very well. So it kind of expands your collection straight away, which is, one of the reasons why I went so crazy, so I'll buy up front. All right, in no particular order, and hopefully I remember the names of all the items, um, but if I do screw it up, don't worry, I'll put it in the remarks down below, everything that's in the video, as always. All right, so this is the Sling Backpack. It is Moonlight Garden, of course, with all the beautiful flowers. And on this backpack, I have the Whimsical luggage tag, which also was part of that. Um, may technically have been Firefly Garden, but anyways, it's the matching one for that set. And I think it actually looks really good on, on there, so I left it on there, but okay. So, sling backpack. Um, the next item here, oh, so many items. All right, is the laundry bag, the cinch laundry bag. This one is obviously Firefly Garden. They are quite large. They're like a giant ditty bag. These for me are great for so many things. I specifically use them a lot for loading and unloading my RV with all my clothes and bedding and everything. Um, but it's really pretty. It's a really robust lighten up. It has the good cinches and the uh, little slide toggle to hold it cinched. Inside the top edge, it also has two handles so you can carry it as well or move it around like that. But it is a giant bucket size or a bucket shape. I mean, just like a ditty bag. So, there you go. Let me fold that sucker back up. And put it in the pack. So, I only have one of those. Most of the other ones I have two of each pattern, but I just have one. Maybe I'll get another one at the sale. All right, the next item. This is the Day Tripper backpack. And we're not going to go through every single item in a full review because we have seen them all. If there is something you want more closer look at or a repeat look, then by all means, let me know. Just put a comment and I will respond. So, very pretty. It has a, a nice pinkish purple interior. All throughout is a nylon lined. Uh, this is a great catch-all backpack. And of course, I had to get luggage tags for all the backpacks, so that's on there too. All right. Next item, Journey Backpack in Firefly Garden. I love backpacks. <laughs> can you tell um, I did not get the grand backpack in this pattern because I figure I had a little bit smaller and, a, and the larger version so I didn't need all the versions um, besides if you see my grand backpack video I have a lot so I tried to you know draw a line but anyways this is a beautiful beautiful bag I got a good pattern placement with flowers everywhere and there you go so the journey backpack then I also got the extra large campus backpack so this is now the Moonlight Garden. So if you want to see side by side real quick, the two patterns, um, the Lighten Up version has bigger flowers farther apart, is basic gist, but a lot of the same colors and style of flowers. Oop. So I like the campus backpacks, but I do prefer the extra large. I just think for me they're, they're bigger enough that it matters and they're more versatile for me because of it. So I do like the extra large. They have this sort of recess the zipper here and that's first glance how you can tell them apart um, of course I have 
yet another luggage tag. All the backpacks have them, so. All right, next item is the small Vera tote. This is Moonlight Garden. I don't like the way this got folded when it was shipped to me and I really should have taken time to fix the, it's just there's a semi-rigid bottom in there and it's, it's like, I don't know, it's out of position or something. It's, anyway, it's a pretty tote. It's a great size for a purse tote. You can use it for a small work tote, um, a lot of different things, but I'm gonna have to do some forming on this sucker. Okay, later. But for now, it's fine. All right, next item is the Iconic Deluxe Weekender. And the difference for the Iconic Deluxe or whatever, they've kind of dropped Iconic now, but if you look at the Deluxe Weekender versus the regular Weekender, first big difference is the handles. They are a longer strap drop. They do fit over your shoulder. They're not that rolled handle, so big difference for me there as far as usability and comfort. <laughs> Another luggage tag, of course. Um, the other really big difference is look at the stitching. The stitching is this vertical line stitching instead of the diamonds, which gives it a totally different feel. It actually makes the same material feel more like a jersey knit. I, I don't know, it's really an interesting phenomenon, but that's what it feels like to me. Um, but it is otherwise pretty similar style. The other difference, so the Deluxe is kind of like the lighten up version of the Weekenders in that it has that long strap drop as well and that corner pocket in the back. And that's a, oh, ha, guess what? I used this one. It's a perfect place to storyboarding pass. <laughs> I forgot that was in there. Okay. Well, obviously I didn't clean out that bag very well, but there you go. Of note on these as well, the back middle slip is a slip. It's also a trolley sleeve if you unzip the bottom of it there. So, all right. There you go. Okay. Now we're getting into a bunch of the little stuff, but before we do, Let's look at this one big thing that keeps hitting me in the knee. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt because it is super soft. This is the comforter set in full queen and it's Moonlight Garden. I haven't used it yet, obviously, but only because I have dogs and they sleep on the bed. And so for right now, until they change out my guest bedroom where they don't get into, I'll leave this. But it says it comes with a comforter and two shams. 86 by 96 inches and the shams are 20 by 26. It's 100% cotton with 100% polyester filling, machine washable. Yeah, so there you go. It has, oh, you can see the interior or the back side of it too is a pretty blue floral thing. But anyway, I love it. It sits up in the uh, storage in the very room with the other quilts and comforters because same reason. But. Uh, I think I mentioned it before, but there is another video coming revisiting the Vera room. I did the filming already. I just have to do a little editing and stitch it. So coming soon, maybe even before this one gets published. Okay, next item. This is the Iconic 100 handbag in Moonlight Garden. Um, it's a nice size handbag. It's a duffel style. It's really flat right now because that's the way I was storing it, but it is great. It has that removable, adjustable shoulder crossbody strap and lots and lots of pockets. It's a great, great bag. But I like this because it has the extra trim back in there. That's an old style Vera feature that is creeping back in. And I'm really glad because some of those attention to detail items was what drew me into Vera in the first place. So there you go. Sorry, Kelly, she's sleeping. It's late. All right, next item is the all-in-one crossbody wristlet. Um, this is in Firefly Garden because it's the lighten up version, but there you go. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. So let's move right along. We got the RFID Riley compact wallet. And it has, you know, of course the fireflies inside. I really do like the interior of that blue and teal. Shocker, the theme there. Then on along the theme of wallets, sorry, I'm all itchy. Um, Ooh, I forgot the name of this one. It's like a RFID small wallet, maybe? But it is RFID. It has some slips on this side. There's three card slots. There's a clear ID window right here. There is slots behind the slots. Then there's the dollar space there. 
that's your snap section. And then on this side, there's a half zip around for your coin purse part. I haven't actually used this wallet. I have mixed feelings about it. Um, I think it'll be fine, but I just haven't used it. But I will, I will. This is the double eyeglass case. It's the cotton and it just sort of is like a padded middle with us on either side. I, I haven't used this yet. I don't wear glasses, but I wear sunglasses a lot. And I'm close to needing glasses, I'm on the edge. But anyway, um, this one is the first one I'll use for the daily thing, but I use the hard cases for most of the time with my sunglasses. Okay, coin purse. This one, um, it does zip slightly around the corner, but this one was a gift. This was my birthday gift from my store. Um, so that was really cool. Inside it has one slip and then it has the elastic in the corner right here. So you can use that for your lipstick or chapstick or battery pack or whatever you want. Then, okay, we got zip ID lanyard. So I have the Firefly Garden lanyard. So the lighten up lanyard and the zip ID that goes with it. And then I also bought the Moonlight Garden zip ID. I did not buy another lanyard because I don't need a gazillion more. Um, so as is the trend in my closet, you'll see more zip IDs than there are lanyards because they match. So you don't need to have it perfect every time. That's just me, but seriously, I have enough. <laughs> okay, then we have the, I think it's called In The Loop keychain. This one is a little more thicker or wider than my other one. I only have two. I have this one and I have the lilac medallion one, but it unsnaps so you can hook it on your bag. You can hook it on things. You can put your wrist through it and it's just a, a regular loop there. So if you do get it all dirty or you need to wash it for some reason, you just work this through and then throw this part in the wash. It washes very well. That one has not been used, but the other one has been washed multiple times. This is the accordion wristlet. And again, it has that nice trim pattern all the way through. I really like this style of wallet. I'm just starting to fall in love with it, but I like all the wallets I have actually. They're just different wallets for different purposes. You know, honestly, before that, um, this recent, really, I've dug into the Vera wallets, but before that, like my whole life, I was a one wallet person. I'd wear that wallet or use that wallet till it died. And I didn't carry a purse. I didn't carry a bag. I didn't carry a bag at all. It was just the wallet, but it had everything in it. And I, I liked a certain style and I, I could never find it. So I started buying them in multiples, which is what then drove the Vera trend. And now I have stacks and heaps of different wallets. If I like it, I'd buy a lot of it. All right. This little thing is the hair accessories case in Moonlight Garden. It's a super cute little zip around cotton thing. It is a little bit rigid or semi-rigid because it has some filler in there. The top is magnetic, so it magnetizes your bobby pins. It comes with all these pieces. So you get four elastics, four bobby pins, and then you get a headband as well in this little mesh section. So super cute little thing. I have several other patterns um, I think this one's my favorite. Uh, I really like this pattern. I, I, I just do. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. Okay, next item. This is the Glenna. It's the iconic style or whatever when they started doing the cinches on the side. I actually haven't used this particular bag yet, but it's a beautiful shoulder bag. There you go. Hopefully you're familiar with Glenna's. Okay, let's do the stationary stuff. Okay. So first thing I got is the highlighter set. This is not just Moonlight Garden. This is the Summer 19 Medley, but that second one is of course the Moonlight Garden. And it is the recoloration of it. And I'm not sure why they do this or why they did this, but in some of the patterns they do. So for example, this is your Moonlight Garden in the small or the mini notebook with pocket. So it's a, a teal version of it, which I also like because again, I love the teals and blues. Here's the larger one. Here, I'll put them side by side. So you got the regular pattern one and then the recoloration one, but they, they're both Moonlight Garden. Then I have the binder, which is the teal coloration. Inside the binder, I have two other things. I have the pencil pouch, which is this style, which is not my favorite style, but I do like them, I do use them. In fact, I have one on my table that I'm using 
I think it's Stream Tapestry, but you can see, this is a canvas type, if you're not familiar. I don't know how to pull that out. And you have to be careful when you put these little loops in because your little rings can like fray the rope. But anyway, this other piece was the planner bonus pack, I think it was called. And it comes with a little plastic pouch with a slide opening and it had some stickers and some dividers and a magnetic page keeper and one gel pen. So this one looks a little bit different. It's kind of like a light version of the interior pattern. You see that firefly right there? Okay, but anyway, so that is all the pieces I have in the stationary stuff for Moonlight Garden. <gasps> Not true. I think I have one other item. Hang on. notes. Haha. <laughs> almost forgot I have these. Sorry about that. So this is two sides. So you have this one and the, actually I think there's three in here. Let's see. Yeah. So there's three. There's this one, this one, sort of like a blue and white coloration, and then the main coloration. This looks a lot like the trim pattern on the cotton items. So what these are, Come with a little box. I haven't actually used these, so that's why I almost forgot they had them. But you can use it like a bookmarker or a page marker. They're like a not a true card stock, but they're a thicker paper. You can write notes on them and then have like a paper clip edge to it. So you can like put it over like over your page and mark your page and it sticks out. See that above? Anyway, you can use it how you want, but I had them. They're sitting right on my desk, the, but it's the storage desk, not the using desk. Okay, so that is the end of the stationery. Next item, Hadley backpack. I do love my first backpacks. I'm a big fan of Hadleys. I'm sad that they've gone away. Um, if you do like the Hadleys and you didn't know that, now's the time to get them because there are some patterns still available like online in the sales section. And of course, any online outlet sales We'll probably have them a little while longer and the annual outlet sale in indiana if you get out there they will probably have them and that's really going to be the time to scoop them up because they're disappearing anyway i do love them and this is a great pattern placement i think but have the backpack great purse okay this next one is the iconic court organizer i actually haven't used this yet i kind of forgot that i had it honestly but i i've been using a different cord organizer when i travel um but maybe this next year I'll travel with this set because holy cow, I've got it covered. Uh, but inside it has a slip here with a zipper and then on front it has like a cord tab that you can snap around a cord and hold. You can wind up another cord in here. You can put a charger here or another cord or a pen or whatever. And then two slips on this side with mesh. So it holds a lot of different things. And then there's space in the middle. You can see that the width there inch and a half or so and then it's gusseted on the sides so you can you can stuff a lot of little cords and tech things in there and travel with it and then it's a single zip around next item this is the large cosmetic and it is well it hasn't been used it's got paper in there but pretty pattern inside plastic lining pretty straightforward next item ooh the brush up, not the, not the blush and brush, it's the brush up. So it does have the zipper with mesh and the plastic line top. It has the plastic lining here as well. You can put your brushes or pens or pencils. Well, you can put whatever you want there. I usually just use this part. I don't do a lot of makeup brushes, at least not yet. Maybe someday when I grow up. Inside, you have another mesh pocket on the top. The bottom section is not plastic lined. It is though pretty tall when it stands up. So this is the type of thing that I usually put like my medicine bottles in it and I just stand them all up in here and then it carries really nicely like that. I am of course using a different bag for that right now. So there you go. But it, if you get it just right, you kind of figure out how to make it fold kind of flat-ish for storage. 
that's what I do anyway. Because they get too big to store too many of them. Then I have a ditty bag. It's a regular style ditty bag from the retail side. So it has the sort of a knapsack construction. They're tethered at the bottom. And it has kind of a, it's a little stiff just because I haven't used it. But So you could for small people use it like a little knapsack. I don't. Um, and I prefer actually the outlet side because the retail side does this. It's not, it's not connected in the bottom. I like the, re the outlet side that's sewn around the bottom of the bucket. I don't know why it bothers me, but yeah. These ones are a little sloppier and harder to fold back the way that you want them. So, ah, it's folded. Okay, next item. This is the Grand Hanging Travel Organizer. Now obviously it's Moonlight Garden. It's, it too has a strange fold because the bottom is semi-rigid, so I just fold it up that way. But when you're using it, when you have stuff in it, that will fix itself because it's very big. And when you, when you look at it, there's the bottom. And so it doesn't take much to make it stand. You just put your stuff inside of it and it will stand up by itself. So you don't have to worry about that particular crease right there, but for storage purposes, it's helpful. Um, so when you hang this up, it kind of hangs like this. You have um, just a little section there where your hook tucks in. You have a lined area here. It's plastic on the front, not plastic on the back. Main pocket is plastic all around. It has mesh pocket on each end and it has some elastics on the back. Mesh on the front, just uh, another zipper across there. Another pocket here, which is actually two separate sections. So there you go, inside and up. And then put the crease back in it because I'm gonna put it back on the shelf like that. There you go. <laughs> ah, not even close to being done. All right, the next one, this is the regular hanging travel organizer, but this is the Firefly Gardens. It's a lighten up version. They did make this also in the cotton version, but I did not get it because I mix and matched my sets. But there you go, it's the regular size. I think they may also have made this in the compact size. I'm not positive, but there you go. It's a standard hanging organizer. If you want to look at that, I have lots of videos with that in it. Okay, the next item is another part of the travel tape. So we saw the hair accessories piece and we're gonna see a whole bunch more of the pieces. Although, I think I'm missing, no, it's in there, okay. So this is the lingerie bag set, I think it's called. So there's three pieces. There's a rectangle bag that it's all trimmed with the Moonlight Garden. The second piece is like a cylindrical one um, and then the big one is kind of like a ditty bag, but just mesh style. It's got the bucket bottom and everything. And I just store them inside of that. And it does have a drawstring. Doo -doo. It's a little stiff, I haven't really used it. But you can use this for a lot of things. You can use it for packing organization. You can use it for laundering, especially your lingerie, so that your bras don't get hooked up on everything. Although sometimes they hook through the mesh anyway, so whatever. I have not actually used it yet because I got it after or before my trip, but I was already doing other things. So let's talk medium cosmetics because there are three, three different ones and they're all called the medium cosmetic. But the first one is the lighten up. This is Firefly Garden. So that's the way to differentiate that one. It's just your medium it has the two slip pockets on the one side, zipper on the front. There you go. So good size, they actually hold a lot. And I love them for backpacks, for, I haven't used any purses because they're kind of big for that, but um, great for so many things. Then you have the medium, which is just your regular Iconic at the time, before they dropped the Iconic label. Um, Two-pocketed, medium cosmetic, cotton with the plastic lining on the inside. And the front pocket that's not plasticized. The other one, same basic size, except this one is just one pouch, so it's, it doesn't have the second pocket, but this one has the um, clear vinyl on the outside, so it's 
it's layered on top. Can you see that? Like you can pull it away, but it's sealed on all the seams. It's, you know, sewn on all the way around. So it's kind of interesting. And then of course it is still lined on the inside. So I haven't used this one yet. I haven't figured out exactly why you would want that, but maybe if it's something that's gonna get a lot of moisture to it or dirty, it's obviously very wipeable. Um, but anyway, so I got both and I look forward to really trying that out. Along the lines of cosmetics, I put all this in a bin so I can keep it next to me. Let's look at the next two. So there's your mini cosmetic, just your regular mini iconic. It's the same as the large and the medium style with the two pockets and the lining. Same, same. The tag on it. And then you have their mini dome cosmetic. This one is from the Travel Takes collection. It's a cute little size. You could use it for a tech pouch. It is plastic lined, um, but you could use it for a lot of different things. I use this one and the mini one as my purse ones. If I'm using a bigger bag, then I might use the medium. But it really just depends on what I'm putting in them individually. And I change that up sometimes, so you never know. And like I said, I haven't really used this set. I've been using other ones, but we'll see. Then you have the Travel Takes Mini Jewelry, Mini Jewelry Case, maybe? Anyway, it is uh, kind of like the hair accessories thing. It zips all the way around. It's not round though. It's kind of a rounded square, if you will. And it opens up like this. You have on this side a uh, rolled ring storage, so it's padded and snaps. And then below that you have a little pouch, which I guess you're meant to put earrings or small bracelets or something. It has a nice microfiber lining there to protect things, sort of velvety. Then you have this, again, to store things in between layers and protect everything. And on this side you have earrings and more earrings. or you can put rings or you can string bracelets between it, whatever. You can use it how you want. But very versatile little piece. This would be great for like a weekend trip, jewelry-wise. Um, for me, on a longer trip, I take too much jewelry, so I need something bigger. But this is a great accessory piece, especially short trips. All right, next piece, travel takes again. This is the manicure kit. It says, your nails are fly. It has a cute little firefly with the trail on it. That's super cute. Inside, it has all the basics for manicure kit, pretty straightforward. I have two of these. Yeah, just two. I have this one and I have a Holland Garden one. I have some other ones on my wish list, but how many manicure kits do you really need? I think not too many. Then you have the little travel, tech, travel takes case. I, I'm not certain why exactly I bought this because it's really too small to use as a purse, but I thought you could use it as just a cute little bopping around purse, like for the day or something. Um, or my nieces. I thought, you know, my little five-year-old niece, when she grows into bags, maybe I would gift that to her. But it is a cute, cute little size. You also could use it as like a travel cosmetic type bag. I mean, it has a pretty good depth to it. You could put a lot of stuff in it. It's not lined though, so you know, whatever. There's no internal organization. It's just a pretty open pocket. And then it just has the slip and a little zip. So it's adorable though. Cute little bag, great size. I just haven't, I have lots of ideas. I think a little craft pack. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that. Next item I have is the laptop organizer. Nice big swath of pack. A fabric can't talk there's a zipper pocket on the front and then this one the zipper runs this way inside you have your padded pouch and there you go I actually used this last week on a trip in my trailer I put my Apple keyboard in the front part of it and then my laptop in the back this is the four-piece cosmetic or yeah, four piece cosmetic. It comes with the three pieces. So it has your dome cosmetic, not the mini dome. The mini dome is part of Travel Takes and it's slightly different. This one zips really end to end in a full crescent. Oops, I just zipped it. It's already, it's already open. And then it opens up. I really love the way, I mean, you really can get into this one. So for all your little things, digging through like all your pencils, your lips and your eyebrows and your whatever, um, eyeliners. And I think it's great for stuff like that. 
You can use regular pencils, you can do other things. I love these in my purses. I have a bunch of them now. It is gusseted on the side, so even though it opens up really nice and wide, it's very usable. The other piece is the roll. Again, you can use it for a lot of different things, pens, pencils. I have used, not this one, but one exactly like it, with straws on my necklaces, and then you put all those straws in here, so that's one way you can carry a bunch of necklaces on a trip. Um, yeah, I came with some other solutions for that. And this is essentially a medium cosmetic size with a big piece in there. So that is the four piece cosmetic. The plastic piece, clear plastic is also very, very useful for a great many things. Okay, the bin is empty, but there's one more item. And that is the market tote set. Um, this is the only one I actually don't have open, but um, it's four different sizes. So you have the big one. And then the other three are tethered inside. But it's just market toast. So no sense in really opening it up right now. But that concludes the Moonlight Garden collection. And there may, honestly, I mean, like I have the towel and I have the throw. But I actually couldn't find them in a quick glance because there's so many bags to dig through for those. Sorry. But I do have those pieces I don't have the scarf, the soft ring scarf. I love it, it's on my wish list. I, I just haven't got it yet. Um, and there's a couple other items on my wish list, but as you can see, I want for nothing in Moonlight Garden, but there you go. So thanks for the request, thanks for watching, and that's all for this one. Bye for now.